Okay, we're gonna go back. Get Splush from the Pokemon Center. Oop, have a fight and get him from the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Ponyta, wow! Our water one would really do nicely here. Ooh, level 14. I am, uh, I am afraid. Maybe I'm not so afraid. Uh, maybe I am afraid. Less of that, please. Yeah! Level 16. It's really a nice time to have a uh, splorsh available, but hey, beggars, choosers, and all, and all that. I was looking up on honey, and it used to be between six and twenty-four hours you leave the honey on the tree for. It's been more than twenty-four hours since I last played, so that honey's been wasted. So, oh, <laughs> I fail at using. This is worse than TPP. Bye, Flarp. Hello, sp not Splorsh, Splorfy. I haven't used him yet, I can't remember his name. Heal up. And uh, we'll see you back in a bit as we go grinding. Alright, so we got a bit of leveling done. We got Splurfy up to level 14. We got Belknap up to 14 as well. And I got Carl up a couple of levels. Ready to move on. And one thing I did notice I'm back in Jubilife City, your favourite place. One thing I did notice while I was around here, if I got Carl in the lead, I do one. Yes. was that in this cave there was an area that I didn't go to at first that leads underground. And I want to go there. Ah, it's a cricket dot. The cricket dot's much cuter than cricket tune. I thought that was super effective against bug types. Eh. I also find out that Cricketoon really doesn't learn anything useful for a long, long time. I mean, Fury Cutter's alright. It's not great though. It can, takes a few turns for it to be be really useful. I think I need to have Surf to get the most out of this area. Zubat. You missed! Come on! Oh, no, don't do that! Don't make me hit myself. Eh. Can't be bothered with this nonsense. It looks like a trainer bottle over there if I ever saw one.
Spell nap, you know what to do. Mega Drain! We could be in for a long one here. I'm just not interested. Stardust. Wasn't that a song ages ago? Sold at high price to shops. All right, I like that. Okay, so I need to be on a bike to go over those. It appears we're going to be fighting a lot of Zubats in here. So let's get Lambert up top. I'm not running away from him any more of these unless I really have to. I should probably use it. We're alright for now. We're twice its level. Rock smash. Ah, damn it. You'd think I could fit through there, wouldn't you? It looks like a gap a kid can fit through. Yay, you got Flash! Excellent! I'll hold on to that. I don't know who I want to teach that to. Because you can only use it once. So, my first experiences with the Pokemon games. Like everyone, it was back at Red and Blue. And... I didn't have a Game Boy at the time. I had a Game Boy emulator though. I had a friend who taught me how to use Game Boy emulators. And I had a ROM. And I really didn't know what I was doing with the game. I didn't understand it at all. I used a lot of Game Shark codes. I cheated my way through the entire game, basically. I was I was a terrible gamer. <laughs> um I never ran into the missing no missing go missing number glitch in my version. But I did read up on how to do it. But even though I was cheating my way through the game and making using game tracks to make my Pokemon max level, I always made sure to have a strategy guide and learn where to go to get things. So that was my first experience with it. And then I never re I didn't play them much for a while. Until... 
And every now and again I'd pick up a ROM of gold and silver. And I played them occasionally. I'm trying to remember how the generations went. Gold and silver was Gen 2. What was Gen 3? Because we're in Gen 4 now, Diamond and Pearl. You know, I honestly can't remember what Gen 3 was. One was red and blue. Two was gold and silver. Diamond and Pearl was... Oh! Must have been Ruby and Sapphire. And I did play those. For a long time. In fact, I never played them until I got... Omega Sapphire and, or Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. I don't really have anything that's going to be good against Starly. Rock Smash is weak against. At least. No, he's not uh, resistant to that. Um, black and White, I played a bit, and I think I was I was in a non-Pokemon phase in my life. I didn't really enjoy them, so I never really stuck around with Black and White. Um, not really my Pokemon story. I got back into them a bit after watching some videos, and I got emulators for my for my Windows Phone, and I played it like that. So. And then I learned that X and Y were coming out. And X and Y have long since been my favourites. You know, I absolutely adore those. So that's my Pokemon story, really. You know? Hmm. I didn't do much. In terms of the show... God, I loved the show. I was a kid at heart. <laughs> so yeah, I, I watched the show a lot. Ugh, confused. I might just run away from this one. Uh, and I love the movie. Damn it, Carl. The first movie. Ah, fuck it, let's get away from this. Um, yeah, love the first movie. That scene where Ash gets petrified. <laughs> Even though I am now 29. Yeah, I'm 29 still playing Pokemon, I'm that sad. Um, it still gets to me, you know? I can feel myself welling up. Right. Quick heal and then let's go make some progress. Oh, I can sell that thing. Stardust. I hope it doesn't have any other uses. Uh, do I need anything else? Pokeballs, I have seven. Potions, I have ten. Super potions, two. And Tidotes, five. You know what? I'm going to be okay for now. We'll buy some repels some escape ropes. No, I've got an escape rope. 
So we get two repels. In case I need to backtrack through somewhere. And I'm really low level. Or, you know, near death. Right, Route 205. Let's go. Grass would be really good against you, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm all wet. Ah, that's actually quite, quite strong, that. Don't miss! Carl, and you wonder why I don't do much with you. In you go, Promisal. Oh dear, if only I had, if, if only I wasn't stuck to fire attacks. I don't even have a fire Pokemon in my team. Don't even have one in the PC. I haven't caught a single one. How do you pronounce that? Boizel? Boizel? Beizel? Buzel? I've got no idea. Alright. I want to get Belnop some more levels. So, let's go. Fight you. You're another battle. You're obviously another battle. Come here! Jesus! You better not be too strong. Alright. Geo dude! Everyone sit down. Belnop has got this. Eat him! Oh man, that's deliciously powerful against him. He's only got a base power of 40. 219 experience. Oh, not quite enough to level up. You gotta, you know, have more than one Pokemon. It's another hiker. Pokemon that smell sweet, get a whiff of this. Okay, you're weird. You are weird. But you! Ah. Uh. Huh. Lamred, this is your This is your one. That's stronger than I thought I would face. Level 14. I'm glad I did some power leveling. Alright, you're going to use growth, that's fine, I can dig it, I can dig it. That's what I love about flying types, they're so fast. So you want to go first? Put a flying type in. Yay! Oh, so close. I didn't get to smell your Pokemon, I was too busy killing it. What's this? So there's a tunnel underground. Man, yeah, I got myself a Pokeball. Get 
Give me your berries. Give me your berries. Who needs an item? you're going to have in store for me, so I'm not going to lead it off with Lamred here. When I first saw those air vents, I thought they were, um, mailboxes. Shinks. Mm. <laughs> okay, level 12. Shinks shouldn't, shouldn't have any electric moves just yet, so I'll be okay. I meant to use quick attack, not tackle, but fair enough. Yeah, at this level, type effectiveness does start to creep in a little bit. Pachirisu! Again. I don't think you have anything... I should worry about. I don't think you get any electric moves until level 13. Yeah, I think we're just going to sit here and quick attack each other. A case of who's fastest, really? She focused on one type and they were too low level to have any uh, to have the stab bonuses. That's a useless that's a redundant acronym syndrome there, stab bonus. The B stands for bonus. Alright. Bell not switch in. Or um, Splurfy. Switch in. Cause we've got a hiker coming up here who's obviously got geo dudes out the wazoo. Aside from this, I don't know what else is in this area, so I don't I don't know who to lead off with other than this Onyx! Well, oh, at least it's not a Geo, dude. And for those of you who want to state the obvious, I do need a better microphone. This one picks up way too much background noise, and it's too obvious when I cut it out to, you know, cough or whatever. There you go, Splurfy. Right, well, I can always run away from battles. Well, not trainer battles, but these wild battles, if I don't like what's going on. Ah, Shed us. Go, Splurfy. Pardon. Okay. We'll live with that. It's kind of cute. I can't catch one, though. Okay, well, if you're going to raise your normal defense, let's, let's, let's attack your special defense. Water gun! Bleh! Oh. Of course, you're water type, aren't you? Water type that knows Harden. I suppose it's not too unexpected. I could have used Pursuit, it was dark.
were not very effective and a five level difference it still did a lot of damage oh come on well that's a good thing I'm using quick attack isn't it never misses Yeah. Should have got more for that. Okay, what I'm gonna do You can have this. You're gonna lead off. Repel. Right. Well, Splurphy will lead off when we come back. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you've seen so far, click on the left hand window to subscribe. You'll get notified of any time I upload any new gaming videos, let's plays, Pokemon videos, anything. Click on the right hand video to go to the Nuzlocke playlist and see more from this series.